Hey there, and welcome to Bug Eye Travel. Do you enjoy bird watching? I've got just the place to do it. You'll have plenty to keep your binoculars full. Stick around to find out. Honduras is a rough diamond. It's Central America's second largest country and home to some of the most astounding Mayan ruins, idyllic beaches, and wonderful nature. Yet, it remains one of the lesser visited countries in Central America because of its supposed violent reputation. I have a special spot in my heart for Honduras and its people. I found them to be kind, helpful, and very interested in my home country. They indulged my attempts to converse in Spanish, and I understood what they said back. I can't wait to return, and maybe I can inspire you to visit. Ralton Bay Islands Ralton is the biggest and most developed of the islands in the bay. Once a closely guarded secret, it's now a cruise ship port and a popular holiday destination, especially for avid divers and snorkelers. A mountain range runs through the island's center. Flowering coral reefs line its shores, offering excellent diving and deep sea fishing opportunities. Despite the influx of travelers, the beaches of Ralton are beautiful. Clear waters, swaying palm trees, snorkeling, and plenty of shops and restaurants nearby. Are you enjoying the video so far? Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Utila. Utila Island is remarkable for its beautiful white sandy beaches. Pristine snorkeling and diving conditions make it one of the most popular places to get your diving certification. If diving is low on your agenda, the island is famous for its laid back vibe. Whatever the case, it's undoubtedly one of the most incredible experiences and the best things to do in Honduras when you visit. With only 8 miles in frontage and 3 miles in the landscape, Utila is surrounded by wilderness with numerous dirt roads that take you from point A to point B. It's also the most budget-friendly of the Bay's islands. Locals gather in the main Utila settlement to compete fiercely in domino games and tourist shops and diving centers dot the streets. Enjoy fresh seafood and traditional Honduran cuisine at one of the trendy waterfront restaurants. You can also get up close with the island's wildlife at the Iguana Research and Breeding Station. Dive operators also offer the opportunity to dive or swim with whale sharks. These gentle giants can often be seen in the waters around the island, especially from March to April and August to September. Lago de Yohoa Along the principal road between Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula are Lago de Yohoa, the largest natural lake in Honduras and a paradise for bird lovers. Over 480 species have been sighted here, including whistling ducks, northern jacanas, and corncrakes. Multiple national parks dot the region. There are tempting waterfalls for splashing and archaeological sites for exploring. It's truly one of Honduras's best things to do. Lago de Yohoa is the ultimate place to explore nature. Rolling green hills, verdant fields, and rushing rivers will keep you busy for days. A trip to Honduras is sure to be action-packed and full of adventure. It's your turn to choose your favorite activities and start planning your trip. What's the first thing you'll do? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more travel videos of fantastic destinations worldwide. Be sure to check out my Iconic Islands playlist for even more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.